What's up, y'all? It's Starduster 2, and I'm so excited because um, I got this today in the mail, right? Anxious to know what it is? Anybody? Hmm? Want to know? Hmm? 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 Let's see what it says. It says... Hmm, it says I'm blind. That's what it says. Hold on. It says... Can you read that little bitty tag on writing? What the hell? Okay, wait. I need magnifying glass. Hold on. I'm blind. I'm over 40. You guys got to be trying to read all this. I already got squint as it is. Oh. All right. I can't see what the heck that said. Can y'all? All right, let's see. It says soak in water for at least four hours prior to planting. Plant in rich, loamy soil or in high-quality potting soil in a starter tray. Keep moist plastic cover for starter tray works well. Keep well lit but away from direct sunlight, which will dry the cuttings too quickly. The cuttings with small buds on them will show new growth within three weeks. The cuttings without buds can take as long as eight weeks to show new growth. All right. <laughs> Y'all literally saw me with the tag on magnifying glass. Read the shit. Anyway, let's take a look and see what it is if no one's been able to guess so far. Hopefully y'all have already guessed because I know some of y'all just are just so bomb at this. You just know. <laughs> you probably can smell it through the video, huh? Hmm. Maybe you can't smell it. I don't smell nothing. I smell my rosemary. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's see what's in here. <gasps> Comfrey cutting! Comfrey cutting. These better work. I'm saying, it said with the little buds on. Let me see, I don't see no little bud. Okay, I guess that's supposed to be a little, a little knot right there. I guess that's what they call a bud. Anyway, it said to soak them in the water for four hours. So, that's what I'm about to do. A bud. What the heck they talking about a bud? These these are going to work. I give many thanks. This one seems like there you go. That's got a bud. And it's got roots on it too. <gasps> yeah, I'm so excited. That's five pieces. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna place them in this big old huge yard of mine. I definitely want one, at least one over by the chicken um, run. If I could put it in the chicken run, I would, but I know that they'd devour it before I got the chance to even grow. So I definitely know a spot outside the chicken run where I'm gonna put one. And then I'll probably put the other floor, other floor, <laughs> the other four along the fence line. Yeah, out there where like I have the blackberries and the blueberries and stuff. Or perhaps on the other fence line between my neighbor's house i don't know but i'm excited i got five pieces of comfort cutting and i know i'm gonna have something growing from each one of these so um on the day i doubt it will be today because i think i might wind up doing these in the um shed room with the uh plastic covering over it like i said and let them start from there but um when i do do it i definitely will keep you guys posted i'm so excited i got some comfort cuttings um I'm still hoping that that comfrey seed, it's out there in the shed, it's under the heat, you know, it's under the light, it's on top of the heat net, I'm keeping it moist. I'm praying that those seeds uh, come up too. So, thank you again for those Diva Jones, and I'm very appreciative for these comfrey cuttings. But to be honest, I did, I ordered those off of eBay. So, they're in my Aquarius mug that I'm spilling water out of. Mm-hmm. And then the other purpose of this video, real quick, is I'm going to show you a way that I learned to keep up with my fresh, um, what do you call these things, y'all? Herbs. Hello. Fresh herbs. Don't put them in an the ice cube tray. Um, I'm going to cheat and do it like this. I'm going to cut them.
Yeah, you gotta select the next episode. Go back, hit hit the back button again. Mm -hmm. Hit the back button to go out of there. Uh, you have to give me a minute, Mama. I'm doing a video. Hold on, okay? Oh, God, this rosemary smells so bad. I freaking love rosemary. I just walk around and pick it off the plants and eat it. So many different benefits of rosemary. One of the main reasons I, I use rosemary is because of my memory. You know? Having a stroke definitely affects your memory. And this helps. <laughs> I sniff it. I eat it. I also encourage my son to eat it because it helps with people who have asthma. And he has asthma. So there's lots of different benefits to rosemary. Not just cooking and seasoning with. But it is very great when you're using it with some... Um, uh, what is that? Butternut squash. Mm-hmm. Rosemary on some butternut squash with some turmeric. Mm-hmm, honey. So. You just knocked some stuff over. You probably didn't even hear it, sweetie pie. Ooh. I'm so blessed that my mom's still here, but her not having her hearing really bothers me sometimes. That scares me. Mm. We fuss literally about her wearing her hearing aids because she doesn't like them. She says they're uncomfortable. I was trying to talk her into getting some new ones. We'll see. Now say a prayer. But um, yeah. So put your rosemary cuttings in the ice cube trays. Um, another person who told me about this is P. Smith Gardner. I mean, I'd seen people doing videos about it, but she told me she does it all the time. So, I've been drying out most of mine when I get them. Because I use herbs for so many different things, not just for cooking. But um, I'm like, I want some fresh rosemary for when I do cook. And I love rosemary when I'm making baked fish. With like some um, lemon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. I'm just gonna demonstrate with all demonstrate. <laughs> I'm tripping myself out today. I'm going to demonstrate with these six here first. Okay. I was finally able to speak. Hi, diggity dog. And then you take your oil. Oh, I need some more now. I have been looking for you. Mm -hmm. Might as well just fill them on up, right? Waste not, want not. I love that term. I think I'm gonna keep this piece for me. <laughs> Bam. All right. So I got these six here done. And I'm going to use olive oil. Extra virgin. I try to use cold pressed. I'm not sure if that's what this is or not right now. Oh, well. Another, um, I think you could also do this with butter if you were to uh, melt down butter, but I prefer not to do butter. So I will freeze these little blocks. And then once they are completely solid, I will take them out of these trays and put them in a little Ziploc bag that I will kind of like airtight seal and keep them in the refrigerator. I mean, keep them in the freezer and pull them out whenever I'm ready to cook with them. Just drop them in whatever it is you're cooking with. If you're making some baked fish, throw a little cube in there in your dish. And voila, you have fresh 
rosemary and olive oil to cook with. Thank you guys for tuning in to my video. Much love to you all. Stardust to two and I'm out!